But features? We have all the features. I mean, there's delta patching that we can... Yoink, I guess. Um, like, how does... How does that work, then? If I were to corporate espionage... Okay, I just get to choose. There is no 2000... ...yet... ...for researching. We're still just 99. And nobody's working on network right now, anyway. But as soon as somebody does that, Kieran's retired. And everybody's calling in sick. What is happening? Harumph. You all right. Because I haven't had a chance to really mess around with uh, the actions here. But if that's as simple as that, I just yoink. I don't have to like select which company to steal it from. That's nice. Oh yeah. Let's sell a couple more lots of those, sure. Hang on to these and uh, see if it continues to mature for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what the digital distribution though, how we still don't have anybody here for it. Like why even, it's getting to the point where it's like, why even let me change my revenue cut when clearly 5% is the very best you can ever get. I don't understand. <laughs> if I get this, this final business reputation star and we still don't have people doing digital distribution, dude, then I don't know, man. You may as well just hard lock at the 5% and just get rid of that entire concept of it and just somehow they can afford to do 20% There's zero chance I can get away with 21% cut. No way. Alternatively, I just have to like, uh, exclusivity deal everybody and drop millions on it. And maybe then they're like, you know, your platform's actually pretty okay. I don't know. Do not know. Move that up to development and get this thing programmed and done. Let's get that star. Miri Meow is retired. Interestingly, we did a lunch break and then a meeting straight after. Just the one meeting that day, and like in the middle. Kinda odd, kinda wild. I've got two contracts that we were doing. The first one didn't quite get us there, which is kind of what I suspected. The second one still didn't quite get us there. Almost, though. We can do a real quick one. A real quick one for some art. No, let's just do like a, an embedded system here. That should be all right. Get us this last star real quick. Just basically pound it out in just a few days. Jeez. <sighs> Still working on it. Did a little more gold acquisition too. You're up to 10%. You know what? I'll leave it be. It seems like the more gold that I acquire, the higher the price goes, so... <laughs> Just keep at it, I guess. Gavin Logan won on vacation. Oh, service. Okay, different Gavin. I thought, wait a minute, didn't I fire you? <laughs> Uh-oh, who did I fire? But no, we're good. <sighs> Night of the Sheep is still ticking. 1998 3D is technically available, but I have to spend a bunch of royalties on it, so I'm refusing out of spite. And then, uh, still no 2000 network, but soon, maybe, <laughs> maybe someone starts on it soon. Hmm. Stability still meh, features still somehow meh. Tech levels are great. That's, that's great. I don't know how we're missing features though. I've got the most features possible. Quality, yeah, maybe not 100%, but like 98% it ought to be. And stability should be fixing up as well because, you know, I got the servers back. Mm. Come on, rep. 
recognition still climbing for game uh, adventure games, but simulation is dropping because it's been a while since we've done a simulation game and people are tar starting to take notice. I would very much like to have gotten a cool design by now. Oh. 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 <laughs> you can get this guy in for a quick one shot. <laughs> it demands 190,000 up front, a luxury car for 300 bucks, the private office, of course, exclusive lead. Of course, fixed rate fine and 5% gross revenue for the products they designed. Ambassador, friend maker, slow eater. Man, you're not around for very long. Hal Perry. You know how to game, and you are 94% inspiring. Hal Perry? Uh. <laughs> uh, please! <laughs> The dude's gonna croak any second. Now let's go, McSheep Shop Limited. <laughs> oh, God. And see, you do need you do need the reputation. The game's not lying. It affects things. <sighs> Man. And then once I crank out like a good visionary and we get like a really proper gut that sheep out there. Make make millions again. You know, we can see about uh, getting a subsidiary and seeing what kind of automation I can have them do. Because you can also automate things through them and they're just like an off-screen company doing God knows what, just consuming money like nobody's business. You throw like 50 million bucks at them and it's gone in a few months. It's like, what would you do with it? And the game's like, mm, I just need more. So you throw more at them. Maybe it's a bit better now. They, they used to just drain way more money than... I, I don't know where it went. <laughs> the game didn't keep track of their expenses at that point, so maybe the game didn't even know. Now that I can actually technically look into them and see where their revenues are being spent, then... Eh, maybe it's a bit better now. I don't know. Probably okay to send this off to bug fixing. <sighs> Give it an iteration. I'm not, I'm not satisfied. We'll outsource another one. Then we'll have the client, when this is finished up, take another look at it. That's yeah, looking a bit better. Maybe the client just doesn't like me. Maybe that's it. How are we doing with those new programmers, by the way? We've been keeping kind of busy. Ghost Pants 2, Deady Loader 2. It's... What changed? I don't know. They're getting there. Everybody else's skills maxed by now, of course, but they are getting there. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Just everybody calling in sick, too. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, did I cross some sort of an employee threshold and I don't have X amount of sinks? So, like, <laughs> illnesses are spreading like mad or... I don't know what's happening with that. Everything is just starting to go a little bit wrong suddenly, and I'm not too sure why. It's like, I haven't released a gut that sheep in a little while, and the world is falling apart. Fear not, friends. It will not be much longer. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do some bug fixing here with McSheep Shop. Yeah, they're happy with it, so promote that. Do some bike fix, and there's another Night of the Sheep update out there. Enjoy it. It's making money. It's making money, and technically so are we. We're losing a bit of money with the gold procurement and stuff, and the maintenance of, um, you know, buying stuff and all that. But... We're, we're, we're still doing okay. We're just getting to a point now where everybody is getting a bit old. Uh, we should be cranking out something real quick before they retire slash die. <laughs> we, we got some... All these folks, I associate like 56 plus really being like the retirement age. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like half the core team. That's, that's 10 people there that are willing to retire. Yeah, at any second. <laughs> so we kind of have to like... 
rehire a bunch of people, I think. Um, oh, we can. There's, there's that final star. Good God, he's still here. Okay. Hal Perry, you are hired. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, I can use the offshore account for it. That's nice. Um, Hal, who are you? <laughs> You're not going to be in for long. It's Hops. Hops the second coming in for a quick dip. And also, get one of these espresso machines. Assign that. Rogue's the only applicable one because this is set to limit room usage leaders just to stop randoms from going into it. So set it to anyone. And then hops. And ascend the computer. Also to hops. <sighs> okay. Keep everything paused. We're making a new game. It's happening. A new simulation game. It's, uh... Another GTS Online, maybe? It's made us a ton of money. <laughs> like, a ton of money. Were you... Yeah, you were, you were the MMO, but you weren't monthly. No, price of 80? Yeah, no, you were the one-off purchase. Uh, so a sequel to that, it'll be subscription-based. It's GTS Online 2. And they're gonna hate it because it's subscription based. They're gonna say literally, oh, you have to pay for it every month. Uh -huh. And uh, they're gonna be pooping on it, but it's gonna make money. So much money. Gonna be good. Hopefully. If you don't, if you, if, if Hops doesn't croak like tomorrow, like, they step into their office and they just die in their chair <laughs> before they contribute at all. Please don't do that. Yo, Frame OS 2, 2.8 million users. Nice. The market would be wanting that. Um. <sighs> Jeez, wasted interest, 16%. It's kind of crazy. However, speed boost, 30.9%. That's nice. Okay. Expansion pack targeting only 69%, but like, I, again, I'm not really bothering with expansion packs. That's very much a whatever to me. And yeah, it's going, going to Hops, who wants royalties and stuff too. But it's actually going to be 94% creativity because you actually have game experience. Somehow, at some point in your life, I don't know. <laughs> An ancient such as yourself has been there, done that, I suppose. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Six bucks forty is very cheap, but it's subscription based. They pay that every month they want to use this. So as long as it's going for like twelve months, like a year basically, I guess, pretty much. As long as they're playing it for a year. It's making profit, which they're going to be playing it for a few years. Spoiler alert. It's begun. The proper MMO. Is anybody researching network yet? Okay. You're working on it. And just to confirm, I can't yoink it while you're researching it. No. Okay, just, just making sure. 12.3% sold. Try to kind of sort these a bit. Around like 10 to 12% I'll sell them. It seems like a nice like kind of incremental thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever wants however much money, that's fine. What I would like to do here is... GTS Online 2 being a great success. And we... 
uh, use that money to purchase a company, make them a subsidiary, and see if I can give them the post-release tasks of the marketing and also then support. That would be ideal. And I just shove it off to them. I also then, at the kind of the same point, need to basically rehire kind of all of core since most folks are going to be retiring. We're going to have to try to do a bit of a tissue box thing with like sort of replacing people as they leave, but that's really difficult to do because I don't know when they're retiring. They might stick around for almost ever. They might literally just stay until they die. <laughs> I don't know. Um... We can put a little more into pension, though. A little more into life insurance. And a little more into health insurance. Maybe you're a little more keen to stick around. You know what? If you die, if you die, congratulations. You get almost a quarter of a million dollars. Holy crap. Maybe they never retire then. <laughs> Nervous side eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four people just retire straight away. Uh, an old IP race tycoon is in the public domain, though. Zero active users. Good. Ordinary. 30,000 refunds it had. Consumer reach a mere 3,000 people could currently use race tycoon. <laughs> I made a good bit of money at that, though. That was a nice little simulation. Released in 1985. Race Tycoon. Kind of sort of came out of nowhere being like, how did you end up being decent? Because I think that's the one that I released, but I didn't market at all or support at all. I just dropped it and suddenly we were running out of copies and it's like <laughs> somehow doing pretty well. Not sure on that. Still keeping the updating going for Night of the Sheep because I guess I may as well. Uh, it's not really making money anymore. Yeah, there's Cotton retiring. I'm not surprised. We'll stop marketing Night of the Sheep. Uh, Viscera 2 is also losing money. Give that a proper update. How much? 20,000. It's losing money at just 20,000. Uh, okay. Vesera 1. Okay, we only lost a few hundred. That's alright. GTS Online, we're gonna continue supporting somewhat, though. I guess update its audio a, a touch. Burglars getting annihilated. Good. Honestly, <laughs> good. <laughs> so many guards that I've got. Come on, GTS Online. Gonna wait a little bit into development for that, actually. The creativity is already in. Already in. Don't have to worry about that. Ops a second can do whatever she wants now. <laughs> Literally dies the next day. I don't think you'll die. You might, though. It's possible. But you're as old as Res, Leva, and Ecliptix, so... Man, we should probably actually get, get finished with design here pretty soon. TBH, because... Res is pretty decent there for that. Slowly, everybody is just getting old and leaving. Who's capable of learning in core? Butters, 60 years old though. Money bottoms, 52. Okay, we can get Ezradine money bottoms some education when this finishes up. We're apparently lacking network. Well, actually, network is, like, the only feature, so that, that actually makes sense. 
the MMO two star that's gonna be doing that. And you guys are probably ready for quite a bit, actually. Um, no, just the one available. Oh, well then. Have a two star networking. Betty Loader, have a two star networking. Azuranos, have the third star networking. And, that, and that's it. <laughs> and what else, sir? No, that's it, Ashranos. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Fast learner, big brain. What a combo. <laughs> Dude's always ready to go to school. Yeah, there you go. There's the proper contracts. 15 months to put together a logistics application. Command line, user interface, database management, some pretty icons, third party integration, a product database with payment processing, business optimization algorithms, and inventory management. Blah. For Car Corp, they want you to do 96.4% of it, just about the entire thing, and they expect it to be outstanding. Not easy contracts to do, but it is, oh boy, a nice fat surge of money. Worst case, we can go for the hosting contracts as well and just generate money that way. So it's, it's a buck per, this is a confusing part to me, right? It's one buck per megabit per hour. It's using currently seven megabit per second. So like, is this, is this actually mathing correctly? The maximum bandwidth uses one gig per second, but it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to get up to a gig. There's no way <laughs> I've, I've never had to get even remotely close to that. It might get like a bit more than that. It might get to like this, this might get to like four gigs per second or something, but that's a, that's a big fat one though. That's a lot of. A hundred, or uh, one, one buck megabit per hour. Eight hundred sixty-one per second. Like, ugh. there's no way this math's out right. There's no way. But hosting for next thing OS five, like that'd be that'd be a great one to do. That's that's free money, and this money you can roll it into. Guess what? More servers, so you can continue hosting more things to generate more money to roll into more servers, to host more things for more money. <laughs> it just pays for itself and it's zero effort for you. You don't have to do anything for it. You just buy the servers and that's it. Yeah. Think after today we can move this on. Networking is done, then the everything sort of finishes up a bit. Okay. And develop. Ah. Get the hype going. I'm going to, just in case, start the marketing when this is like a bit worked on already, rather than straight away. Billy Cameron. Oh, wait. Programmer. Oh, of the service department. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the updaters. It's fine. That's another thing I need, by the way, in this game. A filter for these messages. Most of this, I do not care about. Somebody not having social needs met? I do not care about that. I want to completely mute that notification. I don't I don't care that it's enough that there's a mute thing up there so it doesn't make the when it happens. I just never want to see that message ever at all don't care about it because you know what happens when i check that employee who's not having social needs met they're sitting in the canteen talking to people and their social is like half full it's fine it's taken care of somebody can't find the restroom and needs to pee they're sitting at their desk and they've already peed they've wet themselves or they found the bathroom that's right behind them i don't know which one it is and i don't care i don't need to see that message ever ah. <laughs> It seems a bit petty because it's not that bad right now, but if you ever get a huge skyscraper that's got like over 100 employees in it, it is constant. 
people calling in sick, people going on vacation, people needing to pee. Somebody said something negative to somebody else and they've got a complaint about it. I don't care. Not my problem. Take it up with the shower. It's not my problem. I don't care. Uh, I'm just clicking buttons over here. I'm clicking buttons and I'm looking at the right margin of the screen. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit to get used to, but we do have a sort of filtery thingy. At least a different way to view stuff. You can either change it by project, so you've got just like everything bundled together, sorted by the project, so you can like kinda, uh, you know, assign what the drop downs there. Or we've got by type. So like all the support stuff is there and yeah, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I suppose it sort of depends what we're doing, but it's certainly a much nicer, easier way to look at things for the support. I got the hover over to see how many bugs there are. So I know like, well, bam, we should do that. And all the, it, uh, it works. It works and it's okay. It's just, uh, sometimes I would like, <laughs> like to know like where exactly we are with the alpha here with this that was the thing it's it's okay i i like my numbered tabs idea a bit better because it keeps the still at a glance detail view if you so choose to have that but you can still kind of sort of control what you like to look at and all that you know because i like knowing like where we're at with the followers and being able to hover over and see the progress and know where we're slacking a little bit if anywhere and you know what i'll take it it's a little bit easier to see everything at once for more complicated sort of studios you know i'm i'm overall happy with this this is nice i approve as your honors was ready for education again i think you've just recently come back from education though um, that's kind of about it. I mean, some of the designers we could, could educate. Mango still got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of life here. Money bottoms, we could definitely do a little bit of design work for. What were we lacking for design? I think 2D was the biggest one, right? Oh, and, and not counting hardware, though. I don't... I'm not bothering with hardware. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I guess we should work on... Regarding research, we need eight level three network designers to research network stuff, and I don't have to rely on them to finally get around to doing it. it makes our MMO stuff quite a bit nicer, too. There's also audio. 3D. If we were to go for networking... We could see about that. You don't have any. You've got three stars, you've got three stars, you've got just the two stars, no stars. Okay, okay. We're currently programming GTS Online 2, so our developers, or designers rather. They can go out for education. That is okay. I'll allow it. I wonder if it counts for butters, like, because you don't actually, like, you don't actually contribute because you've got exclusive lead, right? Like, I can't even, yeah, I can't even educate you. Even if I wanted to, I can't educate you. Man, exclusive lead. Um, how about, let's give Mango a star in 2D so you can help out a little bit. Thundeer will give you a star in 3D, so you can help out with that a little bit. And Rekate the Vashbear will give you uh, that third three star, I guess. I'm looking a little bit forward to folks retiring and uh, kind of rebuilding the teams, you know. I do have another building made when we're ready for it. It's... Not 100% finished, it's like 96% finished. I'd be okay plopping it in. However, we're gonna plop it in after we move to the city, which is gonna be pretty soon here. Move to the city, better employees to look for there. Um, 
probably can find a visionary at some point there. I'm not sure how likely we are to find a visionary here in the in the suburbs. It's I'm not I'm not liking my chances there really. Mm. Okay, yeah, you're you're good to go. I can't really interact with you like at all with that, but yeah, this is. Networking is, like, looking amazing. That's looking pretty okay. I mean, yeah, 2D and audio, yeah. But, like, there's barely any work. <laughs> like, how it just makes him angry. It sounds so bad! Ah. <laughs> I'll kick out another review and uh, see what goes on there with that, then. There's seven people on vacation, Lil Kane Z and Capio. Some of that might be the accountants, though. I think a lot of that is the accountants. I think they're scheduled to go on vacation in May. Sort of after tax time, a little bit of a lull. Yeah, okay. Was that even... Was that last review even for GTS Online? <laughs> okay. Kind of a lot has changed since then. <laughs> wow. Alright. Um, let's kick out a, 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 th a third review then. Maybe give it an iteration. And then, yeah, bug fix it, because we got this programmed, like, really quickly. That That is flying up there. And there's Ecliptics retiring. It's happening! Although Ecliptics was a night marketer. And also, I'm not sure where they are, but I seem to have forgotten about Gabai. Of all people, it's actually really fitting. Gabai is not a meme. Um, Gabai also was not in the listing, so we still have to give Gabai a clone. I will do that when I can. And then there's the hosting contract. Still looking for that. Full on buck. Win, win, wins, win, Siege Interactive hosting Mars Connect. Current bandwidth usage 32 up from one. Like, oh, Jesus. <sighs> I think pretty soon I'm just going to go ahead and accept those just because I can, man. Dude, this is looking already like really tremendous. Like, what? I'm going to give it an iteration anyway just because. Okay, iteration's done. <laughs> done. <laughs> Did you just control A delete or something? What was that? It was so quick. It's the best employer. Oh my god, first place best employer. What happened to what's their butt? Are they even in the runnings anymore? Hold on. Who who was winning all the time before? That was um Creel. I think. No? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm apparently best employer, though. All right. That's like actually maybe worth putting on the wall. Outstanding. Just line it up. <sighs> Kinda? Sorta? Is that? Nope, not quite. Best employer, 2002 gold. Slows hunger and bladder in room still 100,000 bucks. It still decays, but it'll decay down to, I think, 25%, whereas these have decayed down to 12.5. Yeah, about half of that. And then bronze, I assume, decays down to, yeah, like 6.2 or 6.3. And then platinum doesn't decay. But to get platinum, which apparently we're in the running for, I think if they get best employer 2003 and 2004, then we'll get a platinum award kind of sneaks on in there. I think it's gold for three years in a row, maybe four years in a row. I'm not sure. 